Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to the Bush Block Homestead. Today we'll talk about our solar hot water system, how we've hooked it up, how it's been working and what challenges we've had with it so far. Being a, in winter at the moment, we've had a few issues with it. Basically the panel system on the roof is now not at a correct angle to the sun and also is slightly too small in winter. We had this up and running in the sort of the last bit of summer and we had beautiful hot water but at the moment it is struggling and we've been using our gas hot water system at the moment. So when I come across another panel for the roof or two we can wire them up together just to get more hot water for winter but in summer it had no problems but in, in winter at the moment it is struggling with the colder weather and mainly because of the angle of the sun. So we just picked up this old hot water system from the demolition yard. It's an old, it's a 20, 125 litre system, you can see, 1800 watt, that was when you ran it off 240 volt system. The hot water element is in there which is not connected up, we're not using it for that, we're just using it as a storage tank. So you might be able to hear that hum in the background. Well that there is that pump down there and you'll have to excuse the mess. One of the chooks likes to perch up on these hoses at night and as you can see there's a lot of chook waste sitting around here. So in that box there is our battery, it's our 12 volt battery for our pump system in here. I've done a video on that once before. So our water system for the house is all run off 12 volt. And we have had some issues with that system also during winter, mainly because of the low sun angle. And we currently only have, from memory, 160 watts of solar on the roof for the 12 volt system. And it is struggling in some days, especially cloudy days and during winter. In summer we never had any problems. Our house system is running well. We've had but we've had some issues with our 12 volt system and our solar hot water at the moment. But anyway, we're working on that and you'll learn from experience. Now we'll just go have a look around here. This is our gas hot water system and that's what we're currently using. Though I have got the solar hot water system on today, as you can hear by the pump running. And we'll just do an overview of that at the So we'll have a quick look here and then I'll put some diagrams up so you can more, better understand what I'm talking about. So basically we've got our cold water in and we've got, you can see there's two pipes coming in and same on the hot water we've got two pipes going out. So basically I'll do the best to explain it. We have our cold water here. So this pipe work here that goes to the 24 volt pump. So this pipe here that goes to the 24 volt pump, that gets pumped up onto the roof, up through that conduit, circulates through the solar hot water panel on the roof, and then returns back through this line to the hot water tank and just cycles around and around all day. That is just a 12 volt pump, uh, 24 volt pump, sorry, we picked up off eBay. We could have got a 12 volt pump. The 12 volt version only had 3 meters of lift, the 24 volt version had 6 meters of lift and we're just over 3 meters high to the roof and we thought we'd need the 6 meter lift pump. And I've just got two 12 volt 10 watt panels on the roof wired in series for 24 volts and they are directly wired to that pump via a switch in the pump shed. So you see this switch here that says hot water, you listen. So that's basically the solar panels coming into the switch to that pump and that controls that circulation pump. It also provides power to the circuitry over here which I haven't finished altogether. We've actually got that pump, well that switch controls that relay which switches the pump off. We have two relays, one controls a pump, the other one controls two solenoid valves. 
and we also have a timer in there. So it's a bit, it's not fully set up at the moment. We're basically just running off a timer at the moment. So that timer is set from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. And it'll, once we hit 3 p.m., it'll automatically switch a relay off and it'll switch that solar pump off. So just disconnect the 24 volt solar panel from it. Above we have two temperature controllers. One will analyze the temperature on the roof and one will analyze the temperature in the tank. And when the temperature on the roof is hotter than the temperature in the tank, it'll turn the pump on. And if it becomes colder on the roof than what's in the tank, it turns the pump off. But I currently do not have that connected up. We'll get to that in the future. Currently, it's just on a timed system. And basically when the sun comes up and hits that solar panel on the roof, it starts heating the water and when we hit 9 a.m., it'll switch on. But this circulation pump will actually not start pumping on a cloudy day on the pumping system because there won't be enough sun on the solar panels on the roof to make that pump run. So it, it sort of self-regulates in that way. If it's a cloudy day, that circulation pump won't run anyway because there won't be enough sunlight on the 24 volt panels on the roof to run it. So as I said here, we've also got some solar panels. So we've got two other lines coming out of the solar hot water system. We've got our cold water inlet, which is this one here. As I said, this is the cold water that goes out and on pumped onto the roof and circulates back in through the tank. This is our cold water inlet from our pump supply which pressurizes the system and we have our hot water outlet for the house supply. We've had to put on solenoid valves there. Those solenoid valves are currently closed so when the system is running and the water is circulating these two solenoid valves remain closed. Once the system turns off these open and allow hot water to flow from this system through the house. The problem is if we didn't have the solenoid valves there and you turned on a hot water tap inside the house, because the hot water outlet is also joined to the pipe work on the roof, when you're drawing hot water from the tank it can also draw water from the panel on the roof and draw cold water basically through the bottom of the panel and cold water can come back and go into your hot water line and give you cold water after a while because it'll start drawing cold water which is why the solenoid valves are there so when you have a tap running these lines are shut off so you cannot it won't draw water from the roof through your hot water oh, I did that the wrong direction but anyway yeah this is your hot water outlet so water cannot pass through here once you turn a tap on inside. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, just ask and in the comments and I'll try and answer your questions. But I'll put a diagram up just to try and further explain it. We'll go and have a quick look on the roof. So here we are up on the roof. This is our conduit that comes up through the roof. And we have two lines. We have the cold water coming up and then the hot water return. So this side here is the cold water coming up which goes down to the bottom of the panel runs up through the panel as it heats out through the top and then returns back to the tank and that's cycled around with the pump I did have this irrigation poly connected to the system to help heat it but being low pressure and low wall thickness it couldn't withstand the heat and I'd always get blowouts so that is no longer connected to the system I'm currently on the lookout for a few more of these panels and they can just be hooked together and that way hot water can flow from panel to panel heating it better in the winter months. As I said before, in summer we never had a problem but during winter now because of the sun angle, it's out there and not directly overhead, the water's not getting as hot as it was. Though on a clear day like today, nice blue sky, it shouldn't be too bad. So over beside here, these two panels are the panels for that circulation pump. So there's two 12 volt panels wired in series for 24 volts. As I said, it's a 24 volt pump. 
just to get the lift from it because we needed the extra lift. The 12 volt may have done it with its 3 meters of lift, though the 24 volt with 6 meters we wouldn't have a worry. You don't need a large flow rate, we just needed the lift from the pump to get up onto the roof. And these panels here, these are wired in parallel, so this is the 12 volt system that charges the 12 volt battery in the pump shed. And in winter, I am actually thinking to, of making a stand just to angle these up more in winter so they face the sun more. You can see there's shadowing on there as well, and that's what's charging the 12 volt battery down there at the moment for the pump setup. And we've had a few days where we've had some issue, issues with it not charging properly, mainly just due to cloud and being winter, as I said. As you can see here also, We've got a battery charger and that's running to our 12 volt battery as it hasn't been charging properly as I mentioned before. And that is actually being charged from our house system just off the plugged in a regular outlet and just topping up this battery as we have plenty of power coming into the house but not enough for the 12 volt setup. So we've got a few upgrades to do here. I have to finish that 12 volt um, the um, temperature control system on there. Though in some of the time our system was working fine. We need to upgrade our power system for the 12 volt charge system and we also need a another hot water panel on the roof for winter. During summer we never had an issue but just during cloudy weather and this colder temperatures we've just had a few issues with the 12 volt system and the hot water. But nothing major, that's why we have the, obviously the gas backup. Because it's not real nice having cold showers now. Now well, that's a bit of an update on the hot water system, on the solar hot water system and how it's set up. I'll put a few diagrams up just trying to explain it more and hopefully you understand how it all works. Thanks again for joining us, we'll catch you again next time. See ya.